Hello Commanders and let's start part 8 of the Greater Tamil Akam series in the United India campaign. Okay, Myanmar is finished. In the last episode I show you the fall of Myanmar after a long and a marathon of a huge battle between us. A battle that destroyed both of us but the upper hand was for the United India eventually. I killed all of Myanmar homeland cities, now it's only a process of taking all of the surrounding provinces and cities, but the hard thing now and the challenge is to recover from that setback, is to recover from the, lo uh, from the losing of our capital and the huge impact on our morale. How we are going to do that, of course, first of all I need to uh, boost up my economy. I will need also to annex few cities to boost up my uh, resources production using the developing the arms industries and uh, building the underground bunkers because you know underground bunkers they boost the morale and when your morale is boosted the even the resources production is going to be boosted as well everything is connected here the population the morale and the resources production. All of these three is like a pyramid, is like a triangle where everything is connected. If you have a low morale, the resources production is going to be low. If you have a low population, the resources production is going to be low. And in order to uh, build a great empire, you will have to have a great economy to build a huge army. Well, you see there that I have been buying few uh, few supplies in order to build my arms industries and uh, of course I will need to upgrade my motorized infantry soon when they are uh, available to upgrade because I will need the attack range of the level 6 motorized infantry. Here there are a few cities of the Mekong corporations to, um, to claim. And like that, Myanmar is a closed chapter. We are going to close the page of Myanmar and move to another target. But how we are going to choose the next target? Well, keep watching till the end and you will see how Meliodas chooses his next enemies, his next opponents. Because choosing your enemies is going to be very important in the future of your campaign. If you are going to play solo, you will have to choose your enemies wisely. First of all, Sometimes you have to aim for an active enemy to break him before he gets bigger. And uh, in other situations, you will have to take some lands before your active enemy take them before you. You will understand what I'm talking about, just keep watching. But just keep watching this video because I'm going to explain a very important thing in Conflict of Nations and this is how you uh, choose your next enemy and how you um, expand wisely. Here I'm gonna need uh, an airfield inside these uh, jungles because that is going to make things better for me. This is one of my neighbors. Look at that. Pakistan, an active player with level 3 army bases and level 4 army bases. What does that mean, boys, having these high level army bases? He might be having mechanized infantry, main battle tanks, mobile sum launchers, and even multiple rocket launchers. Imagine that. Okay, I put New Delhi under annexation. The annexation is finished. Now I'm upgrading the arms industries. Of course, the resources production of the supplies is going to be very important for me. Here you see that uh, I started make, uh, upgrading my arms industries in those cities that I lost for Myanmar, of course, the arms industries, they are going to be the most important thing to boost up the economy production. I'm going to assemble my infantry in this region and later on I will choose my next enemy. But everyone here is going to say that my next enemy is going to be Pakistan, but we will see. After I took the victory site, now I'm the second in this map. The first one is Philippines. Philippines is my neighbor and we have a peace pact. A peace pact not for too long because later on we will have to fight, we will have to kill each other. But for now the good thing that we still are in a peace pact.
recruiting office and uh, of course the underground bunker like i said the underground bunkers they are going to be very helpful to boost up the morale of the cities they do not consume electronics they only consume components of supplies and fuel which makes them a good thing to build to boost up the morale in your cities okay yeah uh, the choice of the next enemy it is actually tempting to kill pakistan before he gets bigger because here I really do not want Pakistan to have mobile sum launchers. Having mobile sum launchers while I am operating with elite attack aircraft is going to be bad for us because you know, uh, SAMs they will be deadly. But you also have to see this. You also have to see this. Yogur is inactive and Philippines has already managed to take down all of China. What if Philippines takes down Yugos and attacks Yugos quickly because he is an inactive player. That is going to put Philippines very close to my homeland cities, which is very alerting, very alarming, which is very bad for the future and for the national security of the United India. We cannot let active and strong players very close to our homeland cities so this is why i am going to change my next enemy to the yogurts why to close the doors on philippines from getting closer to us you see there this is philippines and that is yogurt and in order to uh, close the way on philippines from getting closer to our homeland cities because if we do not want someone to sneak around us someone to attack us overnight and in order to do that, I need to keep very far borders with Philippines, very far borders, because if he manages to take Yogur, he will be very close to my homeland cities. He will be very close to this region of the Nepal, which is going to be his gateway to get to the United India. So I, I have this airfield nearby. Um, I'm going to use it to start uh, attacking the Yogur from the city of Lhasa. The first thing I'm going to head to the eastern side of the yogurt to be able to close uh, the gates on um, Philippines. There is two infantry here in the city. I'm going to send my 11th elite attack squadron to take care of those two infantry, of course. My recon division of one recon and nine level five motorized infantry is going to be the stack that is going to claim those lands for me. And also I have this infantry here that is finishing the last provinces of Myanmar. I'm going to send it straight to claim these provinces and make wall, make wall between um, United India and Philippines. My elite uh, strikers are on their way. There is a complex in the yogurt, the Gerza complex. It's only a matter of time until those uh, two infantry vanishes. These, this is our empire. Let's check the economy. Well, the best economy is Philippines. Greater Tamil Akam is the sixth economy. Well. That is because we lost our capital. Yes, we are the second nation in the general ranking, but we are the sixth in terms of resources. You see, that is what I was talking about. Losing a capital is going to have a huge impact on your resources production. This is why I always urge you to not lose your capitals, which is very important for the well-being of your nation. The level 6 motorized infantry is going to be ready in 2 hours. Okay, let's see what is going to happen here. It's a few minutes until the... Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. With one single strike, those two infantry, they have vanished. This is why those elite strikers, they are extremely useful. Extremely useful. Now I'm going to airstrike the complex. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. Let's meet in the next one. See ya and bye bye.